Welcome back students. Let's continue with chapter 3, weather and climate. Weather instruments. Now there are different types of weather instruments that are used to collect data for weather forecasting. Most of the weather instruments used by meteorologists today have been around for some time and they are well tried and tested for over a century. The first one is thermometer. Thermometers measure the high and low outdoor temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. Thermometers consist of enclosed tubes with a reservoir bulb at the bottom and they are attached to a wood or plastic support that is calibrated to read in centigrade and Fahrenheit scales. There are several categories. First one, mercury. This is used to record high temperatures. Next is alcohol. Alcohol is used to record lower temperatures as it has a low freezing point. Now electrical maximum or minimum temperature sensor, MMTS. MMTS is the more modern method used to record the maximum and minimum air temperatures electronically and transmitting them to the weather station. Sixes maximum and minimum thermometer is a U-shaped thermometer that is filled with alcohol and mercury. Like other thermometers, it also measures temperature in both centigrade and Fahrenheit scales. Shape temperatures are the maximum and minimum temperatures that are recorded by placing the thermometers in a standard meteorological shelter for instruments called Stevenson's screen. Now this Stevenson screen helps in recording the temperature without the influence of direct heat and precipitation. Now what is Stevenson screen? Stevenson screen is a wooden box that is raised with the help of stills about four feet above the ground. Next instrument is barometer. Barometers measure atmospheric pressure providing the measurement in millibars. Under most conditions, high and rising pressure indicates what type of weather? Sunny weather, while low and falling pressure indicates approaching rain. They may be either mercury or aneroid barometers. Often they are attached to a pen that charts movements on a piece of paper. The resulting chart is called a barograph. The mercury barometer consists of a mercury filled glass tube more than 76 centimeter long which is sealed at one end and then inverted in a bowl of mercury that is exposed to air. When the pressure of atmosphere is balanced by the pressure at the point where the tube intersects the surface of the mercury in the bowl, the mercury in the tube stops moving up and down and creates a vacuum at the top. This gives the atmospheric pressure of the area which can be read on the scale that is calibrated on the glass tube. The greater the air pressure, the higher the mercury rises. Aneroid barometer is portable. Therefore, it is easier if required to measure air pressure of different areas. It does not contain any liquid and looks similar to a pocket watch. It is often used by explorers and travelers. Next one is hygrometer. Hygrometers are special thermometers that measure humidity by calculating the amount of water vapor present in the air. One type of hygrometer called a sling psychrometer uses one dry and one wet bulb thermometer to measure the relative humidity of the air. One bulb is kept wet in distilled water and the other is left dry. The rate 
at which the wet thermometer cools is proportional to the rate at which the water evaporates and this depends on the relative humidity of the air when the air is dry the rate of evaporation is rapid and the wet bulb thermometers shows a low reading the difference in temperature between the two thermometers shows the humidity on a scale that is provided low relative humidity is indicated when there is a huge difference between the readings of the two thermometers while a small difference indicates high relative humidity with this i come to the end of this part thank you